Hello and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate and today I'm talking about the top 10 scary deep sea diving stories. The ocean is a scary place indeed. We we humans have only explored around 5% of it. What else is lurking down there? I honestly dread to think. Before we get into this video do let me know your thoughts on boats and diving. Now I love boats and sea life but I am not on board or off board with diving because of like the deep pressure. I don't like the thought of the chest tightness. Let me know if you've been diving in the comments section down below and let me know the best thing you've seen down there. I do like snorkeling, different, but I like it. Also while you're down there why don't you like this video and share it with a friend and stick around to the end of the video where I'll be reading comments from a previous one. Do you check out the links to our most amazing Instagrams in the description box. Coming in at number 10 we have the Thai boys and the curse of the princess. In Thailand there is a goddess by the name of Jiao Mei Nang Non which translates as reclining princess. This this spirit is said to inhabit the cave and mountainside of Tam Luang. This is the exact spot, the cave where the Thai boys got stuck in June 2018, making headlines. Basically, 12 boys aged between 11 and 16, all part of the Mu Pao Wild Boars football team, went to a cave with loads of snacks and a football and were planning on celebrating a birthday. Oddly, an unexpected torrential downpour flooded the cave and the boys were trapped inside. Their coach went to look for them and also got trapped too. Now, locals began thinking that the boys had been trapped at the whim of the princess spirit. Legend has it that once upon a time a beautiful princess fell in love with a stable boy and knowing that their love was forbidden they ran away together. They hid out in the exact cave. When they heard that her father and his army were searching that's when they took to the cave. Sadly though, the boy was caught and killed when he went out to find them food. When the princess found out, she stabbed herself and bled out in the cave, which is now said where her blood flows as water. While the change in weather may have come as a result of the unamused princess, it seems that she may have also helped in their rescue too. Amid the bid to free them, locals began pleading with a statue of the reclining princess outside of the cave, leaving her offerings to appease her. As we know, eventually all 12 boys and their coach were saved. Was it the princess's mercy? The dive was 1,450 meters deep, and actually one diver did lose his life in the rescue attempt. Coming into number nine, we have the handshake. This story had me feeling very queasy. It was shared in Real Clear Life Online magazine. The author was sharing a story of their grandfather's time working in military rescue and recovery during the Vietnamese War. They wrote, My grandpa was in the Australian Navy during the Vietnam War. They were taught to shake the hand of dead sailors when recovering the bodies to make them feel more comfortable and familiar with handling the dead. On my grandpa's first recovery dive, he shook the hand of a dead sailor and the arm came clean off the body. He had to keep his cool and bring the body back up but still that's pretty messed up. Honestly, that is truly the stuff of nightmares. If people know that hands and arms can break off, why would they get them to shake them? Like, no, no. Coming into number 8 we have The Bends. A great Radiohead song but a horrifying diving reality. The bends are a very real and very terrifying part of diving. Diving down to deep ocean depths puts incredible pressure on the body and if you resurface too quickly you can get decompression sickness, also known as the bends. Now this can in worst case scenarios lead to paralysis and death. It is a tale as old as time with divers and even now experienced people, professionals are still dying. All it takes is some bad calculations. In 2009 a National Geographic diver was photographing a shipwreck in Greece. Now, some say he contracted the bends as part of a ghoulish curse. The ship that he was photographing was the Titanic sister ship, the Britannic, which sank in 1916 after hitting a mine. 30 people died. I honestly think that's kind of offensive, though. The poor guy just, yeah, died of decompression sickness and he was a professional. It happens. Coming in at number seven, we have the shark cage. I personally do not feel great about shark cages diving because while it would be great opportunity to see a shark up close and personal, you know, you'd also be seeing a shark up close and personal. It has to be done right and baiting rules are often abused by shark diving companies which makes it a bit unsafe. So anyway, in October 2016 diver Craig Capehart was on a shark dive expedition and got the shock of his life when a great white shark somehow ended up on the inside of the cage with him. Have a look at the footage he shot. Holy mat 
mackerel, that is one big mackerel. No shark. They're all fish, right? I actually think that this shark here is like kind of cute. He's like, boop, 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 what you doing, what you seeing? He probably doesn't understand and he just wants to know what was going on and what the people in the cage were freaking out about. But then I remember that actually he's a shark and he literally probably wanted to eat them. Let's watch that clip again, shall we? Ah, no. So much no. Coming into number six, we have the Cool of the Crabs. There are some truly horrifying deep diving stories on Reddit, and this one made me feel kind of ill. Responding to a Reddit AMA asking divers to share underwater stories that scared the hell out of them, Team Pterodactyl shared a horrifying visual memory. They were diving off the coast of Florence in Oregon, a spot where a surfer had gone missing just a few days before. They shared their story saying, I was diving with some friends and we found a body on the ocean floor in the creepiest condition possible. They go on to share what condition that was. They said he was the surfer who'd gone missing a few days prior. He wore a wetsuit with his legs, arms, and head exposed. Crabs had eaten the flesh from his exposed bits, so basically, he was a torso with a skull and skeletal limbs. Ugh, holy crabs, man. Anthropods are just trying to get by, but like, ugh. I honestly don't think I would recover from seeing that. Coming in at number five, we have the mystery man. So the same redditor as above shared another scary diving story, and I'm not sure which worries me more. This next story is about a 1am mystery diver who appeared from nowhere. They wrote, the creepiest dive of my life, two buddies of mine and I were on a night dive in the Puget Sound hunting prawns. It was around 1am and we were a good 100 feet deep, the pitchest black you could imagine. We used to do this thing on night dives where we would get in a circle and turn off our lights, then stare up the water and watch the bioluminescence float around us like floating stars in watery black space. Beautiful. Only this time, we turned off our lights, stirred up the water, and the water glows just enough to reveal a fourth person sitting in our circle. Oh my god, hello unexpected guest, I really don't like where this story is going. They continue by saying, we were at a dive resort so it wasn't so odd to see another diver, only it was 1am, we'd seen no one else prepping a dive on the dock. He was also alone, which is odd considering the dangerous conditions of a night dive in those waters, and he had on no fin and no gloves. I don't know how he swam so well without fins and didn't get hypothermia without boots or gloves. We wore dry suits because it was so cold, but this dude was in a wetsuit with exposed skin, and we thought we saw a giant gash in one of his legs. The story continues, they say, so the three of us all noticed him and we were too scared to move. I could hear my buddies panting in their regs, and the guy just smiled and waved and then swam away. Honestly, sometimes people are the scariest water beasties of them all. Coming into number four, I want you to understand how deep it really gets. Okay, so for some mid list context, I want to show you how deep the ocean really is. It is an utter horror show. Like I said at the start of the video, we've only explored around 5% of the ocean, so to illustrate how scary it is, I want you to have a look at this from BuzzFeed. Now I'm going to screen record this scroll a thon. Okay, so. Up here is what we see and know of the ocean. Here's the free diving world record just below. But then we get deeper. Then we lose light. Things get spooky. We say goodbye to mammals. Then at 6,000 meters, things get pretty worrying. Bah, a ghoul, no. Then even further down at 11,000 meters, we get the deepest point of the ocean. Reject, decline, no thank you. I am a land lubber forever. Or like a land lubber that likes paddling in the ocean, just like a bit. In the shark free part though. Oh. Coming in at number three, we have the underwater ghost. Is this a picture of the first ever underwater ghost caught on camera? Well, it doesn't look like much, but let me tell you the story. This image was taken by paranormal divers. Yes, paranormal divers, because if you believe in ghosts, why wouldn't they also exist in the sea? The dive took place in a flooded underground cavern, 130 feet down, and when the team were investigating, they heard screams coming from the black water. They snapped their cameras, and this is what they found. One of the dive team said, We panned deeply and shot the black water, and the sound of this screaming voice was at the exact site of a diver death. What? They continued by saying, to our knowledge, this is the first underwater ghost photo ever taken. I don't know guys, what do you think? Coming in at number two, we have the shoes. 
So I recently did a video on our sister channel Life's Biggest Questions called Where Did the Bodies from the Titanic Go? And I learned a lot of really interesting things, but also a bunch of really, really sad things. The first time the Titanic wreck was explored by divers was in 1986. Movie director James Cameron made a handful of trips to the wreck when researching and filming the Titanic movie in the 90s. You would imagine that deep divers would have seen some pretty macabre stuff, right? Well, actually, James Cameron said that bodies, even just skeletal remains, are nowhere to be seen. Thousands of people died on board though. At 12,000 feet down, skeletons dissolve very quickly under the pressure. Hauntingly though, what is left of the thousands of bodies are the pairs of shoes that they were wearing when they died, and they are absolutely everywhere. Why is this? Well, because shoes back then were treated with tannic acid, which means they're protected and less likely to dissolve in underwater conditions. Have a listen to what James Cameron had to say about it. A pair of women's shoes? Yeah. Next to a pair of girls' shoes? These were people. These were people. Those shoes got yeah, to the bottom. Double double. On people. So every pair of shoes serves as a grave marker where the humans fell to their final resting place, and that honestly actually is a little bit more haunting than seeing a real body. Finally, coming into number one, I am bringing this straight from the scariest part of the world, deep, deep down in Mariana's trench. We have Mariana's song. So remember that strolling adventure that we went on in the middle of this video? Well, way, 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 way down at the bottom of that is Mariana's trench, which is in the West Pacific Ocean and is 11,034 meters deep at its deepest spot. Now, this is the deepest and, in my opinion, scariest place in the world. What lives down there? Well, we've observed a few sea cucumbers, but as there is no light whatsoever, there's no saying what might lurk in the shadows. A strange, unidentifiable sound was recorded coming from the trench in March 2016. Have a listen. The low part is a baleen whale that sounds at 38 hertz, but the high pitched sound is unknown. It's a whopping 8 thousand hertz. What is it? Well actually, marine biologists and scientists do not know and it gives me the heebie jeebies. Mm, wanna listen again? What is it? Well guys, that was the top 10 scary deep diving stories. I'm not gonna lie, I feel somewhat worse about diving as a concept now. I'm not here for it. Boat fun, yes, yes, yes. Off boat fun, no, 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 no. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. For now, I'm gonna read the comments from the scary us fan theories. Now, Katie Bratz is a fan of my outfits, and I wanna say thanks, babe. The Games Empire simply said, the Russians did not manipulate the elections. Okay, cool. Okay, once again, thank you for watching this video. Do leave a comment for your chance to be featured in a forthcoming video. Do check out the links in our description box to our most amazing Instagrams. And if you haven't yet subscribed to Most Amazing Top 10, join our family. We're over 5 million now, and we would love to have you. I'm your host, Rebecca Velgate, and I'll see you soon. Bye.